All right, what up, what up, people? It's your boy, Mr. Lucario, the bad boy of the dating game. And so in this video, um, I have uh, my lovely assistant here. Hello. <laughs> and we wanted to talk about, um, you know, paying for sex and, um, you know, why guys would want to do that, why guys uh, like doing it. Um, I, I'm still, uh, this is how I feel about it. Because in the past, I was like, you know, hell no. Like, period. You feel what I'm saying? But now that I think about it, and I was thinking about it before, I still don't condone it all the way. But what happens is, is that, you know, there are situations where I think, like two main situations that I could think of off the top, and I've talked about this before, is if a guy is like married and he's trying to like, you know, get something on the side. And wants to keep it super businessy. Yeah, well, right? he doesn't Take want Take out any... the component of actually dating a woman which can can cause some drama yeah that's right? what i'm saying he just so wants to get some sex want, and keep it moving right so if he wanted that mm. that sort of mentality of uh this is kind of a service that i'm paying for right right so i can stay and i'm saying i meaning him like he can stay mm. uh a little bit removed yeah and he will expect the woman also to be a little bit removed understanding that this is sort of a business uh contract right not as much of a a romantic interest maybe i'm gonna leave my wife for you kind yeah of thing. he's just like i want to do you and so that so that you don't come quarreling back to me here's the money and you get yeah. out of here and do yeah. what you got to do right so that's one situation i can understand the other situation is if you're actually a guy who is working 25 hours a day meaning that you you have so much stuff you're doing like but you're actually doing that not somebody who pretends that they're busy all that i'm talking about like someone who who has a jam-packed schedule crazy where you don't have time to even look at a woman most days you understand what i'm saying so in that sense i could i could understand a guy paying for it you feel what i mean i also want to say i'm sorry i don't mean to cut you off go ahead but i also want to say that you're saying this in theory for another man because i think that you are very clear that you would never pay for sex yourself who me yeah oh hell yeah i would never pay for sex and i <laughs> and i think that the reason is you wouldn't Need well, to even if you did work twenty five and you honestly work like crazy, mm -hmm. right? Right. Uh, you wouldn't need that mm. even if you were married and had had you know that sort of like idea that you wanted to get some businessy sort of sex and and keep it hidden from your family, right? You wouldn't need to do that either. So we're not talking about you specifically, right? I mean, I also feel like there's this other this other scenario of men who feel they don't have the level of game that you have no, but it, wouldn't, well, wouldn't be able to. So you're saying that there's guys who feel like, well, because they're not, they don't have enough game to get a girl or the girls they want right. that they have to pay for it to either get it period or get the type of girls they want. Right. So there's, so maybe they're sort of like, I really want to have sex with a beautiful woman mm -hmm. and I don't believe in myself enough that I could, do it. Do it on my own without some special magical uh ticket. <laughs> right, 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 right. The money and mm. the the format of of finding uh, someone who will accept money for sex. Right, right. Well, I remember um, you know, it was like I was like talking to some dude and he was saying and I heard this before, where a guy was saying like you know, you're going to pay for it anyway. Cause he's like, Oh, well, if you go on a date, you're, you're paying money, but you're trying to have sex with the girl. So you might as well just cut the, the that out and just give the girl money directly and just have sex with her. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because the, the date she might decide not to. Right. Whereas if you're like, you're coming over, I'm paying mm -hmm. you, we're having sex. Then it's like more likely you'll get it. Right. Cause right. it's more direct. Whereas the date, and often this happens, right? Mm. You go on a date with a woman, mm. you spend lots of money, and then she's like, all right, I think we should be friends. <laughs> I mean, maybe that doesn't happen to you, Mr. Lucario, but no, I'm no, saying that No, no, that no, 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 but that, no, that's the thing. Like, you know, there's, there's times where I've gone on dates and 
Um, I haven't had sex with the girl I went on a date with. You know, you understand know, what I'm saying? But you didn't spend a lot of money. Well, well, not in this, and it's not even about that. The thing is, you know, if you're going on a date, it shouldn't necessarily be um, just about you trying to fuck the chick. Because if you just want to have sex with right. the girl, then just tell her you want to have sex with her and and skip the date. That's the part that guys don't understand. Guys really think that they they can't say to a woman, "Yo, like if you meet a chick on Tinder." Be like, yo, listen, you know, uh, get a, get her number, FaceTime her, right? Y'all talk on FaceTime so y'all could, you know, do do that a little bit and be like, yo, just come over to the crib. You understand what I'm saying? That's all you got to do. Or if you meet a girl at a bar or a club or whatever, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to, like, uh, 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 take her out on a date. You can either take her back to your place that night or if you can't take her back to your place that night because of logistics, get her number, hit her up and say, yo, come through to the spot. So dudes, dudes always have this excuse of saying, well, you're going to pay for it anyway. It's like, no, you don't have to pay for it. You can just literally tell a girl, hey, I want to have sex with you. And then she will come and have sex with you if she wants to have sex with you. See, the problem is, is that these guys like they they think and also this is the funny part. They think that paying directly for it equates to a guarantee of sex, because what they don't understand is you could actually um uh, say to a girl or try to get a girl with money and say, hey, I'll pay you and she can still decline. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not a guarantee. Like, you're not going to the store to buy potato chips. You understand? Like, the girl can refuse to fuck you still. You feel what I'm saying? There's something else that you brought up before that I think is also really important to consider mm. is the component of self-esteem for a man who's right. willing to pay for sex right. or who's thinking about it. Mm. Because the way you're talking, you know, the way you say, it's no problem. You just, if you just want to have sex with a girl, don't pay for a date. Tell mm. her to come just have sex, mm. right? And for you, you have strong you know, self-confidence. Mm. So you believe in yourself that you could do that. Right. Right. I feel like maybe some people who, who don't feel as confident could, could read your 60 second game book or your, your how to get shit done book. Mm. Right. Or how to have sex with two women a day book. Right. Like any of those talk about confidence and building your confidence. Mm. And I, I think that in this, scenario you know in this world where people feel well that well that's crazy i couldn't just tell a woman to come have sex with me right right i have to give some incentive and and i think the only thing i've got is money mm. to to incentivize her to have sex with me right, right. That, that that there's this component of lack of of self-confidence and self-esteem that can be built up in other ways, mm. right? That you talk about in your books. Right. Uh, but um, there's also what you were saying before that I thought was really important that if, if a guy pays for sex, mm -hmm. that any time he does that, that in itself is a hit to his self-esteem. Yeah. Right? Of course. Because the thing is this, if you basically, anytime you're paying for it, what you're saying to your subconscious is, is that I'm not good enough to get the girl on my own. You know what I'm saying? With, with just who I am. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so, because I remember, um, you know, uh, we were talking off, off uh, camera or whatever. We were saying that, like, you know, some guys might feel like. Like it makes them feel manly to be like, oh, I'm this oh, yeah. this big baller who can who can who can pay give this chick money, and so I feel like I'm I don't know like providing for well, her or something I can, like that. I can talk about this because right. of women I've spoke to right. who, who I know who I've spoken to mm. who are in the sugar dating scene, right? Uh, and how there are men who feel. I guess the the way men these men feel is, uh, how did I say? I was saying empowered, but then we we're like it's the opposite of. They feel manly. They feel manly. They feel more, more of a man, mm -hmm. knowing that they can give this woman, this beautiful woman, mm -hmm. much often beautiful, often younger, mm -hmm. uh, the kind of. Um, uh, experience she's never had, right? So they can take her to a fancy hotel mm -hmm. and they can, uh, you know, ensure that she feels 
not only that she got sex, mm-hmm. but also that that she's going to he's going to feel that she feels full fulfilled and content mm-hmm. because of this experience where she also was financially, you know, like got got um, money for it. Right. But that's right? interesting and to, that... to someone like that, mm-hmm. this this sort of um, dynamic is it, it feels really good. <laughs> but... and, and, and it is like. Uh, uh, what is it? They're the, like a boost to their self esteem to be like, I, I have the capacity to make this, you know, beautiful younger woman mm-hmm. feel really good. But see, what's funny about that is <laughs> I, I see it the total opposite. I see that you know, if you're thinking that because if you're saying that some of them may think that that makes them feel manly and more masculine, <clears throat> I feel like that makes I feel like that's more emasculating. I feel like that makes you feel less masculine. Mm-hmm. To, 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 because it's like this. It's basically saying like, it's basically saying that my natural masculine quality, again, is not enough. Mm, you see, but what I'm I don't saying? think they see it that way. But <laughs> I think they see it as like, look at all the resource I have. I have mm-hmm. like, like all of the the financial and like, uh, what is it? Um, like resources to mm. have. To, to bring this beautiful woman to this beautiful place mm. and lavish her with, you know, my, my, my sexual, what is it like, um, interests mm. and, and money and right. she will just feel so good like a queen and then associate that amazing feeling with me. Mm. Right. And then I feel like such, I feel but see, like, but see kid, that again, you know? that, that right there <laughs> is, directly correlated to why they're having trouble getting it for free in the first place Mm. because that thought of thinking like oh well this goddess that i'm putting on this pedestal that i have Mm. to do extra shit for and all she got to do is be there you (laughs) feel what i'm saying like you know what i mean like that's ridiculous and and also didn't you say that you knew somebody who uh had a, a relationship like this and she was saying that the guy um caught feelings or, or some shit like that or oh yeah and <laughs> so, so yeah and and i think this probably happens more than we realize that that in these relationships that that once you've um been dating someone for a while even if there is a financial component to mm-hmm. it that that you feel like you have a special connection and you believe that it's it's bigger than just the money Right. So my friend who um, had this kind of falling out with with this man she was dating, um, he he was offended because there was some implication that she was seeing him for just the money. <laughs> wait, so so this dude, hold on, wait, really wait, 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 hold on, wait, let me, get this, so hold on, like wait, let me get this straight. Hold on, wait, I got to get this straight. Hold on, I got to get this straight. So this trick. <laughs> who was paying this woman to 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 fuck him and to chill with him or whatever the fuck they was doing felt offended yeah. when he thought it was more than that and felt offended that she reminded him that it's just about the money. Yeah. Is this correct? <laughs> like See, God. you're laughing, but I think in the <laughs> end like any kind of relationship there is you do develop some feelings and you you want to believe the other person does too and that it's beyond just you know what but the dude is paying her to for her co- for the company how do you that's what i'm saying like see this is what i'm saying these dudes what they really want is more than sex you know? yeah like you see what i'm saying like they don't really right, want and they that's and that and that like, right and yeah. that's the that's the problem because let yeah. me tell let me tell you guys something for those for those <laughs> guys who who may be listening who um haven't had a lot of sex in their lives and and even the guys who are listening who have a lot of sex in their lives will probably agree with me when I say this is that once you've had a lot of sex right or once you've been getting sex it, it you see that it's like not a big deal you understand it's not the end all be all it's not like this grandiose thing, which is why it, it sounds crazy to even pay for it. So what happens is, is that when you um, have a lot of sex, you start to say to yourself, what else 
does this girl have to offer me? Which again, which is why, and, and I don't want to bring this up again, is that, which is why I would go on date. This is why I personally go on dates. Cause people say, well, why, why go on a date for? If you can just like tell a chick to come and fuck you or why go on a date and pay for a date and you know, you just trying to fuck. And I'm like, no, I don't go on dates to fuck a chick. If I just wanted to fuck a chick, I just tell her, yo, I'm coming over your crib or you coming over my crib. And if you ain't trying to do that, fuck off. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. But what I'm saying is, is that because I'm, I've already seen that sex isn't that big of a deal. I'm in the mindset of what else do you got? What else you got to offer me? Oh, you see what I'm this saying? This is like from your Instagram feed where that guy was saying to, um, what's her name? Um, not Whitney. Not Sarah. Oh, you're talking about um, uh, 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 Beatrice. Beatrice, yeah. right? Where he was saying, what what can you offer me besides, besides your vagina? Right, right. And that's what I'm saying. See, when you get to that level, that's what you, that's what you think. That's what you see when you're dealing with women. And then, so when you hear about a guy paying for sex, it's like, why? And then, and then, and then now it's like, like you were saying, this guy got so caught up. Oh, that know. he's like, oh, I thought it was more than just the money. And it's because what happens is he's been having so much sex that he realizes that it's more than just the sex. You see what I'm saying? There's other things. You see what I mean? Right. That he would like right. associated with the relationship with the, that exactly. he feels should be there and is, exactly. is offended. That and, it's and, and it's funny because you have guys yeah. who also pay uh uh, for like the girlfriend experience too, you know, like they'll get a yeah, a chick well, that's and what you know, sugar dating is right? right that it is supposed to be like a little more intimate than just like a one night stand, right, right, yeah. But I, oh, I was gonna say also that something I've heard you say before is how it seems so ridiculous to you that someone would pay for sex because you're like, why would you pay someone else to get? what you're getting right because she's getting sex too yeah she's getting dick right you, so, you know what I'm so like so, why would <laughs> i pay you, you are like giving her sex she's getting sex too you're both getting sex but you're also paying her right right that doesn't make any sense that's like going to work and then on the first or the 15th getting your check and they say <laughs> you here goes another us. check for your check the, the check you just got like here's another payment for you're getting paid to get paid like that, does that even make sense <laughs> I'm giving you dick and I'm giving you money. That don't make no fucking sense. You see what I'm saying? And then this is what I'm saying. Like for, for a guy to be like, yo, like, because basically what you're saying is your dick is nothing. You know what uh. I'm saying? And you're nothing. <laughs> so I got to pay this chick. No, because this is the thing. Truthfully, let me, let me keep it. Let's, let's, let's keep it. Guys, they'll pay for it because they don't want to have to deal with the bullshit. You understand mm. what I'm saying? That's, that's yeah. what it was. They don't want to deal with the bullshit. Right. What guys got to understand is, is that when you get to a, 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 a certain level of game, right, you're going to realize that the bullshit is actually what they've been doing, which is paying for the sex. That's the trick. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's like it's like you're you're paying for this shit that's free. You understand? It's like it's like I had a, a professor one time. He said that he was going out of his house every every morning, coming to work, and this guy, he would give this guy a dollar for the newspaper every time he was walking into the fucking building. And he said for at least three months, he would give the same guy a dollar every time for the newspaper. And then he realized that the newspaper the guy was giving out was free newspapers that was in that little bin. You know oh, saying? damn. <laughs> so he... So he was paying for shit that was free, but he thought he had to, he thought that's what he's supposed to do. So, you know, but, but what I'm saying is this is what these guys are doing. It's like, yo, the, 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 the shit is free, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you tell him, Mr. Lucario. No, no, no. But, but this is what I'm saying. Again, they're going to say, well, oh, but you don't understand. And you know, this, you got, you know, everybody's not going to be able to do that. And, you know, and, and, and a guy who looks like this isn't going to be able to get this and yada, 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 and yada, yada. And, and and again, like I said, like I'm saying, the thing is, is that, yeah, you can go out there and you can, uh, you can pay for it. I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of illegal in 
certain situations, but that's a whole nother story. But <laughs> but it's a free world. But but you know, there's other places you can make it happen. <laughs> but what I'm saying is this, and this is another reason why I don't condone it. Because when you're paying for sex, right? What you're doing is is that you're robbing yourself of growth. You understand as a man. Because what happens is is part of the journey of learning how to become attractive to women is basically improving who you are, improving yourself, improving, uh, you know, getting you from point A to point B. But most guys, they're like, they don't give a shit about that. You and building your self-esteem. Right, and bu- exactly. Building your self-esteem. Uh, around uh, wor- women. Working yeah. on, well, not, not building your self-esteem around women. What I'm saying is that building yourself up, meaning that when you, this is the but thing. But I'm saying around women in terms of like speaking to women and engaging with women. Right, well, yeah, that too. Self-esteem but, around Right, that. so what I'm saying is, is that it's the difference between studying for a test so that you get, you know the information and just cheating off somebody's paper. You feel what I'm saying? And so what happens is, yeah, you get the grade, but you didn't learn shit. So so what happens is when it comes time for you to actually do the thing you were supposed to learn, you can't do it. You're lost. So if something happens where you don't have enough money to pay for no pussy, or you're in a situation where you want to get with a girl who's not going to fuck you because uh, she's not going to do it for the money, then you're fucked because you don't know what to do. You see what I'm saying? You mean you're not fucked. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, like nobody nobody cares about self improvement. You know what I'm saying? Nobody cares about being good at shit. They just they just want to get their dick sucked and remain the same. That's what motherfuckers but want to so do. What's so cool about what you're saying is like in your life developing your capability to get what you want. Mm-hmm. It's really worth the work that's what and that's what i'll be trying to tell people yeah. man i'm like yo that's what i'm trying to say but it's like dudes dudes you know and, and i understand dudes is out here struggling and thirsty i get it yeah. you feel what i'm saying i you know you you you, you want to get your 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 shit off i i understand you feel what i'm saying and so you know my thing is this you know if you're, you're a man you you should be doing whatever you feel you need to do i'm just saying that you know don't be tricking and acting like you know you're a player and all that other shit that's one because i I always hate to see that shit going on um two you know understand that you're you're not developing any type of skill you're not becoming the best type of guy you can be by doing that that's two or your confidence right uh three don't be fooled into thinking these women actually like you because as soon as you're not paying them anymore they're not gonna fuck with you you see what I'm saying? So just like that example with the 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 lady you know who said the dude is talking about, oh, why is I why are you acting like it's just about the money? Because it is. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all it is. Like you knew what this was, and it, he sounded like the chick now. You know what I'm saying? Like the chick's <laughs> the chick is more masculine than him in this situation. He talking about, oh, I thought it was more than this. I thought you, I thought this meant something. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> hey man, people have feelings. <laughs> oh, man. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com